Hi there! In this video we look at transformation geometry. Now transformations are about movements, so we are looking at how shapes move. And I've chosen an elephant for us to look at. So when we look at movement, there are four kinds of movements that we look at in transformation geometry. And maybe you will get some ideas in some of the movies that are animated that you have seen how things have moved. But because those are experts, they will move a lot more um, professionally, maybe, than what my shapes are moving. So my elephants can move forwards or backwards or down or up. And when things move forwards, backwards, up and down, they are called translated. So they translate. Another type of movement that we have is where things get larger. So it looks like the elephant is getting closer to you or smaller. And those are called dilations. We also have a reflection. The reflection might be in the x-axis. In other words, a reflection looking into water or something like that. The reflection might be in a mirror, like a y-axis, if it is vertical. The last movement I want to look at, I've actually chosen to include a translation here, but the idea is to look at how things rotate or turn around. So my elephant is turning as it falls off the word movement. And those are the four kinds of transformations that we will be looking at through your high school career. In this grade 9 year, we look at translations that move forwards or backwards and down or up. And we look at reflections in the y-axis. And we look at reflections in the x-axis. So when things turn left or right around the y-axis or up and down around the x-axis. Transformation geometry is a major section of maths like algebra or Euclidean geometry. So we're introducing transformation geometry in this video and in future videos you will learn more about transformation geometry which is also useful in functions and graphs. And as I've alluded to also in careers specifically in animation but also in architecture, landscaping, interior design and many other careers. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about introducing transformation geometry.